the light that makes good comes into view. The ranges to the narrows pull me closer to you. I've sailed the salty swell for seven months or more. Now I'll walk down this gangway and fall upon your shore. I run across the pier, you jump into my arms. The chilly wind's upon us, but your spirit keeps us warm. And I tell you that I love you, and you say the same to me. And we kiss each other softly, and I forget about the sea. I tell you of my travels, everything that I've done. You tell me of the loneliness and take me to my son. And I hold him in my arms and he stares right back at me. With eyes are full of wonder, I forget about the sea. Forget about the sea. It's just you and me. Forget about the sea. Friends and family gather for a party and a feast. The rum is flowing freely as my little sister sings about Sonny and his dreaming. He reminds her of me, and I dance with her again, and I forget about the sea. and welcome back to NL Now. Joining us here in the studio are two people and the dog who we will soon see on a new TV series on CBC which will make its debut in the winter of 2018. The show is called Little Dog. Please welcome to the show Joel Thomas Hines and Billy Cochran and Bruno. Woo! Are we supposed to clap for ourselves, Gary? Well, we'll add in the clapping sound effect later, but you okay. can clap for yourself. All right, thank you. Okay. So, um, thanks for coming in today, guys. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> so, um, Joel, can you first tell us where Little Dog came from and how it, how it all started? Um, <clears throat> well, Little Dog is a half-hour comedy about a washed-up boxer and his family. And uh, it's about uh, him very reluctantly returning to the ring five years after he left the ring in disgrace. And uh, I guess it came from, well, I work in the arts and I, I write movies and uh, books and this sort of thing. And I, I've acted on a lot of television and I was uh, looking for a show, looking for my own show. And I was fighting. I was doing a lot of uh, controlled fighting up in Toronto and uh, it, during one of these fights uh, I got a kick in the ribs, broke my ribs on this side and I had another fight lined up for about two weeks later with this guy that I really wanted to fight really badly and we didn't like each other and it was very personal and I went to the doctor to see if my ribs were broken because if your ribs are broken, you can't fight. But if your ribs are just bruised, you can fight because you can, it's just pain then, right? So I went to the doctor and I was waiting in the waiting room to see if, for her to bring back my x-ray results. And uh, she came back and she said, oh, your ribs are broken. <clears throat> and I said, does that mean I can't fight? She said, you're not going anywhere for about eight weeks because at my, one of my ribs was digging into my lung. So it was, uh, 
I was in bad shape. And I got really, really upset about not being able to fight in two weeks' time. And in that moment, I guess I saw a flash of the whole show. And, uh, but I, had, I can originally conceived of it as a drama, six-part, one-hour drama. And then when I teamed up with my longtime creative partner, Sherry White, who is the showrunner, which makes her the creative boss of the show, she suggested that we turn it into a comedy, a half-hour comedy instead. And so we started going down a, a new direction with it. And I won't go on, but I will say that I did see a flash of the show about a burned-out boxer and his family and him making his way back to the ring. But my original idea is very, very far from what the show has become today. So um, is it all being shot here in St. John's? Really? Uh, yep, it's all being shot. Where? Um, well... Some of it's in studio. Yeah, some of it's in the studio and just mainly just parts around St. John's. There's no specific place besides the studio. So um, <laughs> what's it like to make a show for CBC right here in your home uh, province? Sucks, man. <laughs> sucks. We want to go with Rogers. No, we're just joking. Obviously, it's... Uh, <laughs> Beth just poked her head in. Um, obviously, it's fun. It's a dream come true. It's very, very difficult to get a TV show off the ground. I mean, you can get a lot of people get their scripts into development, and uh, I know some really, really experienced writer producers in television who have yet to get their their own concept off the ground and so it's really exciting and I'm really grateful because there's a lot of people out there who uh, are uh, working really hard to make sure this thing happens and it's brought a lot of uh, good creative minds together and uh, so that gives me a certain kind of gratification to know that uh, a silly idea out of the back of my head is actually helping people buy their groceries. Well, another question for Billy. Um, I know you live in Toronto, but you were born here in Newfoundland. How does it feel to work back home as an actor? Um, it feels awesome because um, I, I, never, I never enjoyed being in Toronto that much. I mean, I, I love Toronto, but I love being here way more because no one really likes going outside in Toronto. None of my friends do. And um, a lot of my friends here love, you know, going places and, mm -hmm. you know, doing stuff outside. And it's, uh, it's really fun and fun. And nothing against my, nothing against my friends. I, I love hanging out with them. And, hates, uh, hates all your friends in Toronto, <laughs> hey? No. <laughs> Say it up here, man. <laughs> no, no, no. They're, they're, hates they're, Toronto? Uh, no, they've been some of my friends since I was in kindergarten, and uh, I've known them for a long time, and some of them are, you know, really nice people. Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself a Newfoundlander or a Torontonian? Newfoundlander. Woo! Now, a question for both of you. Do either of you have some shout-outs that you would like to give to some members of the crew? Shout-out to me mom. <laughs> Members of the crew? Yeah. Uh, that was kind of a joke, the mom thing. Cause, um, so we got to, I don't know, you got to be very careful to single out any one single, single crew member, but we have an amazing crew. Uh, I'll tell you, the producers on the ground are uh, the same crowd who made uh, Republic of Doyle. Do you know that show, Gary? Mm -hmm. And now they're making a new show called Frontier. So we mm -hmm. have, there's a few of those guys from that team who are our Newfoundland producers. Sure. And then we have, what? Republic of Dole water bottle. Republic of Dole. Oh, yeah, Alan gave we'll that have to water me. bottles. <laughs> Alan also gave me this microphone. Alan gave you that microphone yes. there? Oh, I got a better microphone than that. Yeah. 
Um, but, uh, and we got, I don't know if you're aware of a show called Mary Kills People? It's airing now, it just started last year. Uh, those producers, Tassie Cameron and Amy Cameron, who are powerhouse producers, showrunners, and Sherry White, and Adriana Maggs over here is a supervising producer on the show. So, and then we just got amazing cast and amazing crew, and uh, without, without singling out anybody, it really, really makes a huge difference when uh, crew and cast and, and the production team and everybody is, are happy and, and invested in what they're doing. So everybody seems to be having a lot of fun and uh, willing to be creative and play the game. And uh, yeah, that's very important. So One personally, I feel very grateful for everybody. One thing I would like to shout out, <coughs> or three, maybe four, um, is my dad, my very pregnant stepmom, and uh, my uh, my brother Owen. Oh, that's very sweet. Uh, and my mom. <laughs> and my stepdad. Uh, a big crowd of parents. Big gang. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, both of Billy's parents are artists. Uh, Steve Cochran is Billy's dad, and he's a he's a writer and an actor. And Adriana is a writer and actor and everything like that. So he comes from a he comes by it all honestly, right? Yep. Or do you? Maybe he I comes do. by it dishonestly. I don't know. No. I well, um, now we're going to play a little game called Get to Know Me. I'll ask you five questions, and you will pop back with the first thing into your head as long as it's not on those list of words. Okay, is everyone ready? Oh, I hate this game, hold on, just tell me again <laughs> <laughs> what, what the rules are. Okay. You have to, I'm gonna ask you a question, like favorite food or something, mm -hmm. and you have to answer back with the first thing that pops into your head. Okay. Okay, favorite food? Moose jerky. You too. Oh, tacos. <laughs> favorite color? M moose brown. <laughs> Blue. Don't tell the moose, he's our executive producer. <laughs> um, okay, favorite song to sing out loud to when you're alone in the car? Got to get me moose, boys! Uh, you know what Bohemian song Rhapsody. Bohemian <laughs> Rhapsody. Um, your dream, where would your dream vacation home be? Um, Sam Near Nature Park. <laughs> Um, Newfoundland. <laughs> okay, um, the moose is not very pleased right now. Um, um, your favorite thing to do on set to pass time? Um, to do on set to pass time, you go, Billy. Breathe in helium. <laughs> Breathe in helium <laughs> and learn his well. lines in the helium voice. <laughs> That's what he's been doing. I guess my favorite thing to do on set to pass the time is hide. <laughs> do you really hide? I do, I hide. Yep. I, I sometimes, like, I'll just go stand behind a door and open the door and stand in the corner and just hide for five minutes. And I'll listen to people look for me and then I'll go back to set. Well, it's a good thing you weren't hiding here today. No, okay, I just want to say it. that explains a lot of things. What is it? <laughs> like what? Like all the, where's Joel, where's Joel, where's Joel? You need Joel? a break sometimes, man. <laughs> and uh, yeah. sometimes you got to hide behind a door if, you're, uh, if you want to bring it on the day. Well, I've never hid under my desk, but... You've I'm, wanted to. I'll have to try. Try it sometime. <laughs> Okay, well, um, now it's time for the famous NL Now selfie. Why don't you grab our selfie stick over there, Billy, and hold it that way. Okay, we'll get in there. And well, I don't get it. Is there uh Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Are you guys actually going to take the picture from there? Okay, all right. It's, it's great selfie. Um, Okay, so um, thanks again, guys, for coming in today. Oh, what about this? Oh, you have a book, right? Yeah. We are going to give away Joel's book. Is this your newest book? This is my newest book. Yeah, is that, this his newest that, book? That's the from the Giller Long List. This is this mm -hmm. book is called "We'll All Be Burnt in Our Beds Some Night." 
it's a children's book. It's a great <laughs> uh, bedtime book for kids. Well, I won't be reading it to my grandson anytime soon, but <laughs> that's... Who are you giving it away to? Well, any adult who would like to go to our website and send us an email on our website saying, and then we'll draw a name out of a hat. Oh, nice. That's yes. great. Okay, well, um, thanks again for coming in today, Joel and Billy and Bruno, wherever you are. Bruno. Bruno's Bruno. eating something off your carpet. <laughs> hey, Bruno. <laughs> what a great listener. Yes, what a great listener. <laughs> okay, well, um, don't forget, folks, CBC next winter, 2018. Make sure you tune in to see Little Dog. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Back to the show, folks. Now here with me, I have Scott Gilbert. Hello, Scott. Hey, Gary. How's it going? Good. How's it going with you? Perfect. Good to be here. Good. So um, can you give us a bio of yourself, like where you were born, went to school, and where you grew up? Uh, well, I was born here in St. John's, like, mm -hmm. like you, of course. And uh, then when I was a kid, we moved out around the bay to a place called Green Harbor, the home of Glenn Simmons. And uh, uh, been there ever since. And I went to school out there and stuff, and uh, I did nautical science when I was, uh, I guess, got out of high school, and I went to sea for a living, and uh, and I play and write songs. So, um, what got you started in music? Well, when I was about 17, I guess, my sister, uh, she got a guitar for Christmas, I think it was, and then uh, she learned how to play, and then she sort of taught me a few chords and just took mm -hmm. off from there. So um, how, is the, how do you think the local music scene has changed since when you got started? Well, the local music scene here right now is very vibrant. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so much talent in this province. It's crazy. And you know because you had a lot of these guys <laughs> and girls on your show. Yes. And they're very talented. And mm -hmm. they've got, like, uh, I think world-class world -class musicians here and better writers than probably anywhere in the world. And uh, it's very, very cool to be mm -hmm. part of the scene right here now in St. John's. So um, it seems like most musicians in the province pretty much know each other, and it seems like they support each other and help each other out. How important is it to have support from your fellow musicians? I think it's very important. Uh, the community here, uh, it's very small. Like everybody mm -hmm. knows, like you said, everybody knows everybody. And so that's cool, and we and and most times everybody tries to get out and support everybody. You got music and we coming up now in uh, in October, and uh, that's going to be a great time. That's when all the musicians from other parts of the province will be in St. John's too. So, if you get a chance, you should try to get on <laughs> on the show, right? So, and yeah, like there's a lot of support, and I try to I try to promote as many people as I can, and and hopefully other musicians help me out too. So, so it's all about. And also, how important is the family support that you have? Well, that's huge also. Uh, you know, it's nice to have support from your family and, and friends. Now, um, what and where would be a dream gig for you? Dream gig for me would be, and I've, uh, that's an easy, very easy question, Bruce Springsteen, me and him, acoustic guitarist at the Ship Pub right here in St. John's. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yes. Well, um, I'll have to pull a few strings and see if I can get Bruce Str Springsteen down at the ship. So, Bruce, if you're listening, Gary yes. needs you. Yes. We'll meet you at the ship in pub tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on um, we've had some great kids on our show, and when they ask us, when we ask them who they listen to in music-wise, they always answer back with names of Newfoundland artists instead of listing off artists off the top 40 charts. What do you think this says about our youth in music? I think uh, that says that the music that's here right now, it's uh, really reaching out and touching people. And from moms and dads to you guys and, and uh, kids too, because it's wor it is world class. It's not like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's really good music. So why not listen to it, mm -hmm. you know? so. Mm -hmm. Now, well, um, it's time for our famous NL Now selfie. I'll go grab the selfie stick so you stay right there. No problem. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got it. I got it. It is. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, ready? Yes. Wait, wait. Perfect, perfect. Did you get it? Yes, I got it. <laughs> well, um, how about one more song to end off our show this evening? Yeah, okay. We'll okay. do another one. Mm -hmm. This one's off my first album. So uh, it's called Sailor's Love Song. So okay. hopefully you'll go out and get it and enjoy it. Yes. Stranded on this ocean Where the waves just keep on rolling Look up at the stars and think of you. The times we spent together, the love we pledged forever. Tonight I'm lost, tonight I'm feeling blue. Tonight I'm lost, tonight I'm missing you. I say it was love song written just for you You're in my mind You're in my heart In everything I do No matter how far This old boat makes good On this lonely sea You are here with me The wind cannot blow stronger The depths are not as deep love I feel for you girl as I drift off to sleep and I close my eyes and you are here and almost feel your touch tonight I'm lost I'm missing you so much tonight I'm lost tonight I need your love sailor's love song written just for you You're in my mind You're in my heart In everything I do No matter how far this old boat makes good On this lonely sea You are here with me And I will weather every storm I will find my way back home Because I know I'm not Are here with me. You are here.